Cobb has offered, or rather I have asked her to share in a, in a stewardship moment this morning about the ways in which she is drawn from the wellspring of life at St. John's and other churches that have been a part of her journey of faith and, and the ways in which she is feeling called to share back gifts to these communities. And so I'm thankful for Pat's witness this morning. Good morning, St. John's. Good morning. Good morning. The church has always been a part of my life, a very important part. From my early days at St. Mark's in New Orleans, where I was confirmed, met my husband, and was married there. While I was in high school, I had a Sunday school teacher who made the Bible come alive for me. At the beginning of our marriage, we used a system of envelopes to budget our small income. My husband was paid in cash, so you know that was a long time ago. <laughs> but we had envelopes, one for church, one for rent, for food, utilities, miscellaneous, and a couple of others. Earl worked as an accounting clerk at the Times Picayune during the day and went to Loyola on the GI Bill of Rights at night studying accounting. He graduated after 12 years of going at night and working all day. I worked as a medical research secretary, and later our first two children were baptized at St. Mark's, and by then I was a stay-at-home mom. When we built our house in Lakeview and joined St. Luke's, the church continued to be an integral part of our lives. By then we had two more children, and we had two boys and two girls. I did mention my husband was an accountant. <laughs> Our four children grew up in Sunday school and youth group and have fond memories of those days. Both Earl and I served on various committees. By then we'd graduated from the envelopes. We were there for 49 years until Hurricane Katrina came. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to be involved in a number of situations beyond the local church, so I've been exposed to the big picture. During a pledge campaign, not a pledge campaign, a building uh, campaign at St. Luke's, I was introduced to the Methodist Foundation and learned about their works then. After Earl died, I made the decision to donate part of my estate to the Methodist Foundation, which will benefit the three churches significant in my life. St. Mark's, St. Luke's, and St. John's. We didn't have Matthew. <laughs> this past week, a friend sent me a Bible verse that I had long grown to love. It was Exodus 12, which says that we are blessed to be a blessing. May it be so. Amen. And then, if you've noticed in your bulletin that this October is Clergy Appreciation Month, and so I'd like you to join me in thanking Lane for all she's done for us. Oh. And the flowers are for her. Thank you. 